Thank you. But you will let me try. What? To hypnotize you. Oscar Wilde. Why not? Well, it's so negative. I'm under your spell as it is. I want progress. Now, if I were to hypnotize you, we might get somewhere. You're afraid. Afraid? Then let me try. I bet you 1,000 francs you can't do it. Done. 1,000? Cash. All right. What do you want me to do? Sit. That's a good beginning. And now, completely relax. I am, to the brink of boredom. Let your mind go completely blank. After this conversation, that won't be difficult. Oh, that's nice. Are your eyes closed? Mm. Ad infinitum. Don't talk. Your nerve electricity is turning off, Jason. Your sensation recording center is becoming quiet. Your nervous coordination center is now completely under my control. You are now telepathically disciplined to my will. You are now in a hypnotic trance, Jason, dear. Open your eyes. You owe me 1,000 francs. Where is it, Jason? In the perfect world, first on the right. Where is it? Oh, that. Centre drawer of my desk. Amateurs shouldn't play around with hypnotism. It's very dangerous. Would you like some more champagne? Is this it? Yes. All of it? Yes. The only one? You know perfectly well it is. Here. Jason, dear, you will forget everything that happened tonight. Understand? This isn't exactly how I intended to spend the evening. You will forget the gala, the dinner, and that you gave me this. <laughs> you are persistent. I'll say that for you. <sighs> ah, I thought that show would never end. You seem to be making it into a series. Then go to bed. Hmm, I will. And sleep well. Oh, yes, I will. Oh. Good night, Mummy. <laughs> Like candy from a baby. Is this it? All of it? The only one? Why? Jason, dear, the only copy of the Mark Cain script is now in my safety deposit box. You stole it? Mm hmm. Elaine and I are criminals. Thieves? We're professionals. We arrange one highly profitable and foolproof caper each year. Last year it was the Etheridge necklace, worth 200,000. And the year before that, the Raphael miniatures from the Vatican Museum. But my script isn't a museum piece. Yet? How did you do it? She hypnotized you. Oh, don't be absurd. Darling, it took you 12 weeks of hard Fourteen. to write it. So if you ever want to see it again, You'll do exactly as we tell you, to the letter. Because if you don't, we burn it. And you can't afford that. No, Jason, darling, you can't. Here he is. Sit down, Jason. I'll go to work. Good afternoon. Good afternoon.
Oh, I, I, um... Yes? Well, I'm not entirely unsophisticated, and, uh, I, I, I... I adore Englishmen. Oh, it's very kind of you, I'm sure. I think it's the accent. I turn on instantly. Turn on? I just can't help it. Oh, well, I, I'm really most appreciative, and I, I, I'm very... Don't you like me? Uh, my, my gracious. No, I think you're really very lovely. And in every way, I would like to... Do you mind not doing that with your pendant? The photon power of your brain waves is dropping to nothing, Mr. Howard. You shiver because the temperature of your skin is falling. Do not be alarmed. Just relax. You are now antidromic. Completely under the domination of my psychic power center. Lean back, Mr. Howard. Close your eyes. Go to sleep. None. Your turn. I think we can safely leave Jason on his own, can't we, dear? Come on. Mr. Howard, how do you pay Lord Barnes? With this. A trip. A draft on the Bank of England for £50,000. It is a shame that we have to let that go. Darling, it's payable to Lord Barnes. Let's not be greedy. Anything else? This. A letter of certification. Jason can get Lord Barnes to sign that. This business of shipping the missile back to London. In a Natasha case via Swiss Air. No security arrangements of any kind. Only handcuffs. They're in there. These? Yes. The key? Mr. Howard, when are you due back at the museum? The day after tomorrow. I'll take him back to London tonight. Must you? I don't bring him round and I can't control him unless I'm with him. He could get lost or hurt or anything. We wouldn't want that. No. Such a sweet little man. You and Jason go on to Montreux alone. I'll get off at Vevey with Mr. Howard and take him back to London tonight. You can stay at my place. Fine. I'll meet you in Paris late tomorrow with the missile. I'll have it. Don't worry. Ah, we're coming into Vevey now. Yes. Be careful, Elaine. Make sure Jason doesn't try anything funny with Lord Barnes. Up you get, Mr. Howard. 